the value of 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 times 1 by 4 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 times 1 by 16 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 27 times 1 by 64 and so on is tough one and a proper uh, pain in the neck. We need to figure out a way there is a GP inside which another progression is being tagged on. So 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 by 3, 4 by 3 into 1 by 4, not 1 by 3. 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9, you have to figure that out, 9 plus 3 plus 1, 13 by 9 into 1 by 16. Not very friendly. I thought numbers will get cancelled and give us some very sweet thing. That is not happening. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to take the first terms in this sequence. Attack them first. So first terms so is 1, 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 64 and so on infinitely then second term 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 16 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 64 and so on next terms of the sequence 1 by 9 into 1 by 16 plus 1 by 9 into 1 by 64 and so on. Nice. What I'm going to do, I'm going to treat this first one that's a GP, infinite GP with first term being 1 and common ratio being 1 by 4. I know how to plug this in. I'm going to think of this as sum 1, sum 2, sum 3 and so on. I'm going to first find out sum 1 not sum 1, sum 1, right? a by 1, 1 minus r, 1 by 3 by 4, 1 minus 1 by 4, 1 by 3 by 4 is equal to 4 by 3. Nice. Next, what are we going to do? We are going to say, okay, nice. So far, so good. Let's do sum 2. The first term is 1 by 12, 1 by 3 into 1 by 4. First term is 1 by 12. The common ratio is again 1 by 4. And so 4, 16, 64. The 1 by 3 remains the same. 4 becomes 16, 16 becomes 64, 1 by 4. 1 by 12 by 3 by 4. 1 by 12 into 4 by 3 or 1 by 9. The next term. The first term is 1 by 9 into 1 by 16. Common ratio is again 1 by 4 by 3 by 4 and so on. Now if you notice, sum 2, we calculate it in a very convoluted fashion. The common ratio is the same. The first term is 1 by 12. So there is a 1 by 3 and a 1 by 4. Here, the first term is this first term into 1 by 3 into 1 by 4. Or if you think about it, S1 is 4 by 3, S2 is 4 by 3 into 1 by 12, S3 is 4 by 3 into 1 by 12 into 1 by 12. This is again a geometric progression, again an infinite progression, again one with first term 4 by 3 and common ratio 1 by 12 or sum of this whole thing is 4 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 12, 4 by 3 by 11 by 12 or 4 by 3 into 12 by 11 which is 16 by 11. Hopefully that's there at Munger choices. Yes, it's there. That's the right answer.